What's up people and welcome back to Ivan's Alignment. So obviously we are not in the shop as you see. I am somewhere in Mexico where I like to take test hits. So the reason I'm here is because as we all know, Kevin and I, somewhere back there, <laughs> we did install the brand new brushless 3.5 gallons per minute fuel pump. So we had it connected onto the throttle position sensor just to know that every time we were gunning the car, somehow the, the signal for the throttle position sensor was like coming in and out. So when I was looking at my data logs, I'm like, yo, how the hell am I at 68% throttle? Like my foot's all the way down. It's impossible. I went into the wizard. I'm running, by the way, I'm running an AM Infinity. And uh, I, I just tell Kevin, I'm like, Kevin, we got to connect this wire somewhere else because I feel like the pump, it's stealing the signal from the throttle position sensor. So my air fuel up top, it's like trying to correct itself with the throttle body from what I understand. If I'm wrong, I apologize, right? I'm not a tuner, but I know very, I know a little. So what we end up doing is we got we we are using another output kevin what is the output that we're using now for the pump so we're using a map based output so basically the ecu once it reads a certain boost level it's going to activate the pump to go run full tilt so it'll still run on its lower duty cycles when you're cruising around it's not giving full load so you don't got to waste gas but and the question is right we use the ac output right something like that oh uh, we're using a low side output out of the ecu there you so go low side output guys out of the ecu yeah it's basically triggering the relay to activate the brushless pump to go on high duty cycle so we did have to run a relay to that uh signal wire from the pump correct correct so what does it do the computer grounds it and that's when it activates yes so basically it's actually going to ground out the relay to activate the 12 volt output that goes to the pump itself to run at 100 percent duty cycle yeah shout out to kevin from race Pack. this motherfucker knows his shit this is why i got him down here this is why. but anyway guys i'm gonna tell you a little bit all about my my car this is my 85 mazda rx7 yes it is a street car street driven i take it out two three hours out of day drive it here drive it there if i had to pick up groceries i would pick up groceries with it the car makes about 500 horsepower on pump gas on e85 makes about six and change right that's as much info as i'm gonna give you the car does run <laughs> rear ladder bars which I will show you, but I do run the shocks at the stock location and the stock springs. I do use a Viking shock. It, it's pretty much a full bolt on in there. Does this work? Yes, I do run a fuel cell. I mean, not that I wanted to, just that when I bought the car, unfortunately, they had made a big ass hole and the fuel cell was on top, so I got it down to the bottom. As for the brakes, I run Willwood brakes, drag race kit on the back, and I do use aerospace on the front. Again, I do also run my exhaust right out the side. Car is very quiet. Somehow S2000 motors are like the quietest engines, and they do very well. Yes, you heard it, guys. S2000 motor. Hey, Kev, can you open that hood real quick? Let's show the guys what we have in here. Kev, I know you're taking some pride opening that fucking hood right now. I know nah, you're nah, taking nah, nah. some listen, pride. Listen, I got a spare motor for you. you know Bam! Check it out. So most of the stuff here is powder coated by my boy Fat Boldo. I'm sure you've seen him on the other videos. I just got this charge type button the other day. I mean, shout out to Coco, Ricky Tole, full-time Fab. I mean, this car has been a horror. I, I think <laughs> everyone that I know has touched this fucking car, right? Um, the wiring, guys, it is the stock harness. My boy Kevin and I decided to just take everything pin by pin and just leave it. And guess what? It looks pretty good for what it is. I cannot complain. We could have done a mil spec harness. He could have done it from scratch. But I was like, bro, for what? I want to get this shit running. We got this whole project done. I think, what, three months? Something like that. So it wasn't a hard swap. Anyway, so guys, it's a full race manifold, 6466 turbo, twin tiles. It is a Nissan 370Z tranny. Again, the exhaust right out the fender, no problem. Stock head, all I got springs and retainers, built block. It is a sleeve block, um, built by Inline Pro. Stock, uh, it's stock bore, whatever the stock bore is, 10 to something compression. I don't even know what the hell it is, but you know what? It is working. 
everything is working so this is pretty much my setup you could drive it every day you could have fun with it every day you do not have to work worry about apex seals kevin no apex seals all right all right, all right? kevin i know you like this car i know you want to own it i have to put up with it yeah you know what that's that's good do you like this car you're a rotary owner too yeah it's, it's good I it's like good it. anyways guys so that's pretty much all about the car so I'm just gonna give you a little demonstration of how everything works and runs, right? So you guys can have a little bit of fun as I'm having a little bit of fun. Cause that's why we come down here, right Kat? Absolutely. To have some fun. So I already know the air fuel ratio is uh, is on point because uh, actually uh, I was data logging the car earlier and uh, everything is working what's up ted yep everything is working well so we're gonna use some pimp juice i am on my drag radios i mean this works very well i'm barely launching the car because i am again on drag radios so yo kev take this pimp juice bro we're gonna we're gonna use that pimp juice i'm gonna move forward a lot more let me just put this gopro you know what kev maybe you could get this gopro on here all the torque is yeah because we have so much <laughs> torque in this damn car <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're leaving the windows down. Again, I am not out here to kill myself. Right now, we're probably about 30 pounds of boost. We are running about 60% ethanol. I am going to put my seatbelt. Safety is first, no matter what. Yo, Kev, um, where's the tire pressure gauge? Did I bring it? Yeah, you put it in the back. All right, just put them down to, uh, I say 20. I say 20. I like running my drag radios, even on the street, around 20 PSI. I mean, they hook best at 20. I mean, they are hot. What, what are they at now, Kev? 25. 25. All right, so driving it here came up to about 25. So it's not too bad. Kev, I think we got a guy that wants to race. Oh, man. A Mustang, bro. Four-cylinder Mustang with a Bam Bam tune. You heard that? Four cylinder with a bam bam tune. I think he wants the sauce. Nah, he don't want the sauce, people. Trust me. He don't want the sauce, Kev. He don't want it. Anyways, guys, we're gonna pull up, do a small burnout, and uh, just take off slowly and just make a pull. You know, just have fun. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Ready, Kev? Let's make some juice. Well, we gotta move forward. Oh, you want to do it all front? All right. Yeah, not 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 all the way back here, cause then I'm gonna hit that dip. I'm gonna fly out. <laughs> right here, cuz. Oh damn! I didn't even see that car. Yo, make sure you're putting off. Remember, it's a Honda motor. We're torqueless. <laughs> <laughs> so all the tricks. Enough juice, you know what I'm saying? Enough. Oh man. Yes, guys, Honda motors are torqueless, so. And it's real wheel drive. It's not like a front wheel drive. Somehow, it's, it's, with the front wheel drive cars, it's so much easier. You good? Now, somehow, that car is still there in front of us. All right, he's leaving. All right, tell me when I'm on it. All right, guys, so we do have line lock. Press the brakes three times. Bam, line lock. I am in first gear. Like I said, I'm not doing anything crazy. We 
got everyone out the way. People, you want everyone out the fucking way. I mean, behind the car, I don't want shit to fly out. Yo, Kev. Put All right, guys, you ready to send it with Ivan's alignments? Let's go. <laughs>